Hello, this is Jeff Al Gilberts. Welcome to my gym in my home. And tonight it comes with a question, what can you do about overwhelm? Do you feel overwhelmed? We're going to talk about that. And I'm going late tonight, so some of you are going to catch this, probably most of you on replay, but I just want to give value out. Of course, if you're on the other side of the earth, if you're in Asia, then good morning. And I'm going to wait until a few people show up, and then I'm going to go ahead and get started. Let someone come out of the woods out of the shadows to the campfire and declare yourself. Anyway, I hope you're doing good. And uh, Odette in the Philippines, good morning. How are you? I hope it's a nice day. And hey, Jamin, nice to see you. And Flavio in the country of Ecuador, nice to see you. Eden, how are you doing, Eden? You got kids, of course you'd never be overwhelmed. <laughs> Mothers really do have a challenge. Dania in Illinois, good to see you. Hope you're doing well. And uh, Susanna in the in uh, Tokyo. Are you in Tokyo, Eddie? Eddie, it's been a long time. In the in uh, Jakarta, Indonesia. Nice to see you, John in Salt Lake City. Good to see you. And Rocio, how are you doing in California? Good to see you. Howard in Northern Canada. Nice to see you, Howard. <clears throat> Man, I'll tell you what, it's crazy what's happened to Texas, isn't it? Their power grid went out, no electricity. Wow, we'll have to pray for our friends in Texas. I don't expect too many from Texas to show tonight. Oh, okay. So, Eden, now <laughs> your kids are out of the house. Now you get to enjoy grandkids. Well, you look so young to be a grandmother. Uh, so now, yeah, okay. Grandkids can overwhelm you too. <laughs> I have one that does. Oh my gosh. She, she is something. You know, she is in a world of her own. Amazing. But yeah, uh, Texas, I just, uh, man, I feel bad. I mean, it's like the worst cold freeze that they've had in a century and no electricity man uh crazy and yet we're always told how great the green deal is right but they weren't prepared for it so depending too much on wind will hurt you so here's the thing if you know we we all go through overwhelm i know that i went through it in my business especially when we're in the learning curve of how to get better at what we do in network marketing. You know, we can get overwhelmed with this approach, that approach, this technique, that technique, uh, trying to do many things, too many things at one time. Uh, you know, I came from the belief that if you put more time in, uh, that productivity will lead to a better business, but it doesn't always do that, does it? 
So sometimes, you know, just doing too many things and you're just overwhelmed. But the thing is, the one thing we do know about overwhelm is that when we are in a state of overwhelm, we, we're not in control of our lives. So, you know, some of the things that maybe you have noticed about yourself that it could be a sign, you know, it is like, what's the first thing you do and what's the last thing you do before you, you know, when you go to sleep and when you get up, when you grab the phone, you know, it's funny. I have a, my 12 year old son, uh, you know, it's like he carries around his iPad, like it's part of his anatomy. And so sometimes I'll challenge him. I'll say, sit it on the table. I want to see you separate from it. <laughs> so anyway, so some of the other things like spending too much time on Facebook, Instagram, right? Or being on call 24 seven with your leaders is a sign like you're a paramedic, like you're the fire department. <laughs> I think some of you are relating to that or your distributor services. You know, your company has a phone number for distributor services and you're the distributor service. They go to you instead. Some people have created that state of overwhelm on their own because they wanted to be distributor services, but then when it gets to be too much, then they're like, oh man, I hate this. Well, okay. So then we know what not to do. Uh, or if people ask you for your time, you know, it's, it's hard to say no. So you're available to anybody. And the problem with that is then sometimes we're not available for the most important people. Because the ones that seem to want our time the most are the ones that are not productive. They're not productive. So <clears throat> just some action steps. Set boundaries. In other words, just like any business, you have operating hours, right? The time you open, the time you close, when you're available. Uh, if there's special things that you do with your family. If it's during the week and you're going to maybe attend religious services or Sunday morning, that's what you do, religious services. You set boundaries, you're not available. Or if it's dinner time, you have a specific time to be with the family. That's meant to be with the family. You're not available. So at that time, of course, we want to get our phones off the table and, and that's it. And have conversations with the people that are most important to us, right? Our family members. Here's the thing we've got to remember with, with your, with your leaders, that if, you know, if you don't respect your time, why would they? And if you're always available, then we're really showing them that we have an example or a life of what not to be or what not to do. That it maybe it isn't so great after all. And I see this too, even with people right now on Clubhouse, man, it's amazing. The, the amount of time I see, you know, because I get these, uh, a schedule list it's always popping up in notifications and I'm looking down. I see some of the same old people constantly going from this room to that room, this room, that room. And I'm like, okay, are you, you know, are you really, I mean, and it's, I mean, you don't have anything to do with your life other than clubhouse. Really? Gosh, I mean, I'm glad I got more than that going on with me, but you know, here's the thing. Take time to unplug and go do the things you love to do, whatever that is. I mean, of course, this time of year, you're probably not doing gardening, right? Not unless you're in Asia. It's always summer there, unless you're in South Korea. But, uh, but in Southeast Asia, it's that way. But this time of year, we'll do other things, whatever those things are that you enjoy, whatever your passion is. I like to come to the gym. I like to work out. Um, I just enjoy that. But there's other things I do love to do. So whatever that is that makes you feel good, do it and don't feel guilty about it. Too many people, it's like if they spend time with their family, then they feel guilty they're not doing the business. And then when they're doing business, then they feel that they feel guilty that they're not spending time with their family, right? So, uh, so that, that's, that's part of it too. So here's the thing, your business is important, but is your life but is your life about your business? Is that it? Not with me, man.
Actually, I see people going crazy with TikTok and just, you know, some, and I'm like, okay, if I got to do all that to be successful in network marketing, I think I'll go do something else. Really. Just watch that, you know, you know, again, our time, if people are always seeing us live on Clubhouse, like I'm seeing some leaders, I'm like, and I see, and some of these are seven figure earners. And I'm like, you're a seven figure earner and you've got to spend your entire day and evening on Clubhouse, really? Nope, that's not me. I got in this so I could have a life. That's right. And I promise you, most of that's never gonna translate into any serious business, though some think it will. But again, here's, no, here's step two. So I was gonna give you some, get rest and don't feel guilty about when you do need rest. Keep in mind, rest is the work. That's part of the work of what we do. You have to renew. It's like, have you ever noticed that your smartphones get, they get to a point where you've had so much activity on them, what do you have to do? Reset them, right? And when you reset your phone, turn it off, turn it on. Now it's just, it's just, it's operating perfectly. You're, you're just like that. I'm just like that. Rest is the work. Don't feel guilty about it. So if you're, if you're, you know, going to want to take a nap during the day. I take naps. I do. I'll, I'll, I'll get up and I'll run and I'll just run hard, do things, stay busy. And then usually around five o'clock, five thirty, my body starts going, you know, and then that's it. I'm like, okay, I got to reset and I got to renew. And then I can go to the gym and then do a late Facebook live like I'm doing now. And See who's going to show up and let others catch the replay. I'm just going to give value and feel good about the fact that I did that. But don't feel guilty about it if you take naps. You know, some people do. And then the third, third step to help you with overwhelm is schedule your time better during the week. On some days, it's great to schedule. That way you don't crash land into Monday and say, okay, what am I going to do? when we should already know what to do. That's a thing. And if you're going to schedule time for coaching your leaders and all that, then just have a scheduled time. I promise you, if you limit the amount of time you're, you're going to do on your, your coaching with your, with your leaders, sometimes you're doing it with different leaders because they need different things, but they need your help. And keep in mind, leaders are, are our drivers, right? So they need our time. But if you limit that time, you're going to be more productive. You're going to know that you've got to get more done in that time. And again, you're, you're an example. You're teaching them how to treat their own time. And so when you coach them, give them some action steps, what to do, and then follow up with them on the next coaching call to see if they did it. You know, here's the thing. When people complain that nothing is happening in their business, nothing's happening, ask them to show you their planner. Yeah. See how productive they are, how they're scheduling, what they're prospecting, their, their follow-ups, people that they sponsor to make sure that they're helping them, move them along, follow up, follow through. So now here's number four, and that is, again, know your priorities. Where do you need to spend your time? Who do you need to spend your time? I, I personally have experienced this, that in my 41 years of network marketing, I can tell you that it's a common problem to spend too much of our time with the wrong people because we're trying to help people that will not help themselves. Whereas people that have potential or are leaders, we think that they don't need our time because they're leaders, right? When in fact they do, because guess what? They go into overwhelm. They get too much going on <clears throat> and we can throw ourselves right into their teams, work with people and help them out, lighten the load. It's the old saying, many hands make work light, right? So if we do that and work with those leaders, that's going to lighten the load. Guess what? You're going to keep that leader. They're going to respect you for it. And you know, the, your drivers are, you know, those are the most important thing. So, you know, Get intense about taking action. You know, most people, when they have overwhelm and stress, most of it is because they're not doing the things they know they need to do. They spend too much time thinking about 
that doesn't feel good. That's not comfortable. Oh, really? Oh, man, I don't know if I can do that. Or, how, you know, if we just do it, it's over. We don't have the stress anymore. We don't have the overwhelm anymore. And not trying to figure out, just throwing ourselves into it. It's Again, it's like football. You can sit in the bleachers. You can study the game. You can try to be an expert. Or you can just get on the freaking field and start playing and have fun. Just execute it. You know, you're going to get slammed. You're going to get thrown down. Okay, fine. Some of the some of the passes you make are not they're not going to be completed. That's okay. But the fact is you're in the game and you're learning the game by doing the game. Instead of stressing out about it. So that's the thing. We have to work on that. So, and then fourth, here's my fourth point. My fourth point is consumption. Stop thinking that the reason that you're not doing so well in this business is not is because you don't know enough. That's not it. You know more than you're using now. I promise you, you know more now probably than what I did 20, 22 years ago when I started in my last company. So don't think that consumption is the thing or, or spending more time on following this trainer, that trainer. You know, I like uh, the story about Oprah Winfrey. When she was launching her show, the very hour that her show would broadcast, there were already shows out there that were well-established, well-established. And so she's competing for that airtime. And a man asked her, said, you know, with those other shows airing, how did you become successful? And she said, I made a, she said, I made it a policy with my staff never to look at their shows. That's right, never to look at their shows. She focused on what she was excited about, what she was passionate about, and she wanted everybody on board with that. She didn't, so here's the thing, don't compare yourself to others. She didn't compare herself to the other uh, people, other shows that were airing at the same time. She didn't compare herself to that because she didn't look at it. She focused on what she wanted to do, what she wanted to do. Now here's the fifth balance balance if you want to get out of a state of overwhelm stay balanced and that is understand that you have needs you have physical needs right you have you need to take care of your body you need to exercise you need to take supplements what you know things that you're going to need so that your body is in good shape. Why? Why does that matter? Well, it affects the mind, right? Then the mind affects our emotions. It affects our attitudes. Everything starts with the body. So take care of yourself. And that means you've got to <clears throat> allocate time for that. That's part of your planning that you should do. And it's okay to do it every day. Take a little time for that. Then spiritual renewal. Spiritual renewal is very important. Connecting with your creator you know, read, meditate, even if it's just a little bit, little bit is better than none. Again, that's important because you do have spiritual needs, whether you realize it or not, you do. Emotional needs, that's the third. Connecting with the people you love, that's very important to you. You need that. So, and if, and if so that's okay. And if, and if you, you have a loved one, you're like me, I'm married, right? You're going to have time. You've got to physically connect. You've got to, you've got to schedule time. Hey, baby, it's time. You know, no. <laughs> but you need to spend time with the person you love and your children or your grandchildren. So spend that time. Don't feel, you know, don't feel like, oh, man, I'm spending too much time when I need to be doing my business. No, this is your business. That's part of your business. And the, and the other is intellectual. Experience virtual events. Tony Robbins puts out some great ones right now. Uh, so find out when his next one is. I think in March, uh, Unleash the Power Within, UPW is going to happen. Uh, plug into it. But, uh, but also, you know, you, there's a lot of great uh, content out there that you can, you know, just instead of just always listening to music, plug into something that's going to lift you up. 
It's going to really make you feel better. So here's the thing. Being busy doesn't mean you're productive, but productive people definitely are busy. So I just wanted to just share some of those thoughts. and Maybe that's helpful when it comes to overwhelm and how to deal with it. And, you know, just, you know, here's the thing. Be you. Don't compare yourself to others. Don't let everybody dictate your schedule, your time. Be in control. So I'll put some value out uh, tomorrow as well. Thanks for connecting tonight. I hope all of you guys are doing good wherever you are. Love all of you. Take care.